Hey guys, I want to show you a technique I came up with recently in extracting wrinkle maps from uh, metahumans. It's going to be two phases. First of all, I'm going to be uh, exporting the maps, adjusting them inside of Photoshop. And next up, I'm going to show you this super simple setup to use them inside of Unreal Engine. You need to have a Unreal project with some metahuman in it. And I'm going to locate it down here. And you want to use the main map and one or all of the wrinkle maps. In this case, I'm just going to use the face normal main and face normal wrinkle map one. And go ahead and export this. Next up, you want to bring these guys into Photoshop. And I'm going to put them in the same file here. What I want to do, I want to try to isolate this part of the forehead. And then I want to use it on a different mesh that is using the same UVs and the same mesh as the metahumans, but it's a completely different model. So first of all, I'm going to go to my top layer with the wrinkle map. I'm going to put this layer blend on difference. So everything that is the same as the underlying layer will become black. Essentially, it's a mask, and this is what we can use. So on the top layer, I'm going to add a mask. I'm going to go into the mask, go to image, apply image. I'm going to make sure the blending is set to normal. Right. So if I go to the layer blend again here and set it to normal, you can see that I it did work. It removed everything that is not the parts that we want, but it's very faint. I can alt click my mask and I can see what it uh, produced. So. I can adjust the strength of this by levels. So if I go back to my picture and I go Control L for levels on the mask, I can control it here. Let's say I like this. Now in this case, I only want the forehead details. So I'm going to go back, Control or Alt click on my layer, and I'm going to delete everything that's not the forehead. Right. So now the thing is, I don't want to use it on this. I want to move these forehead details to a different texture that I have. This is the head I got in here. And I do have the normal map for this one here. Let's see. Drag again. So here it is. Now this is a 4K map. And I know the metahumans are 8K maps. So I first of all, I need to resize these. Gonna make it. 50%. All right. And I'm going to control all control C, control V to copy it inside of this uh, other guy here. And I'm going to add a mask to it. I'm going to go back. I'm going to click this mask, all click it, control C and all click here, control V to add it in here. Cool. So now you can see the only thing I brought in here, as the forehead details that I want. I might want to do some slight adjustments to it at this point. So I'm going to click my layer mask and apply it. So it only leaves me with whatever parts were white inside of the layer mask. This means that I can use things like liquify for this. So I can try to line up these uh, wrinkles just a little bit. Now, these wrinkles are way stronger than they are supposed to be on the guy that I'm making. But this is just a example, so it's going to be fine. Right? And I can save this one out. I'm also going to need a base version. So essentially, this concludes the Photoshop part of it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to export this face that we're going to be using for this. Drag it in here. Import, I don't want any materials. 
rub it into the scene. I'm going to create a new material. And this is just going to be super simple. Basic color. And we're going to pull in the textures we just made. Gonna create a lerp, and I'm gonna use the base input as A and the wrinkle map input as B, and create a scalar parameter, call this one blend, and plug it into normal. I'm gonna go ahead and make an instance of this and put it on the face. You'll see that once I change this parameter, it will turn on the normal map. But I don't have any blend shape information that is moving the, the actual model. So we can go into Maya and just quickly create a blend shape. Call this one blend. Fine enough for this demonstration. I'm gonna click this one first, click this one afterwards, and I'm gonna go deform blend shape and check if it works. It does. I'm gonna go and export these. Mm -hmm. Back in Unreal, we're gonna be importing this new head with blend shape information. Pull it in here. And to get any of these blend shape informations inside of Unreal, you have to put on skeletal mesh and you have to make sure import morph targets is checked on as well. Go import. Fine. So I'm going to get rid of this static mesh and put in this skeletal mesh, give it the same material. To showcase this uh, animation, we're first going to have to make it. So I'm going to go into my skills and mesh by double clicking it. I'm going to go create asset, create animation, and choose whatever you want. I'm just going to use current pose. And I'm just going to call this animation. I'm going to want more frames, so I'm just going to right click down here. Append at the end. I'm going to say 119. To Adjust the blend shape we just made. We need curves. Uh, a curve inside of Unreal is essentially just an attribute inside of Maya. So I'm going to add the blend curve. And I'm going to double click it. And now I can start uh, animating it with keyframes. So I click Enter to add a keyframe. And after half a second, I'm going to add. I'm going to put it to 1, so it showcases the full blend shape, and I'm going to keep it for a little while here. And then I'm going to put it down to 0 again. Right. So, as you can see now, the blend shape is going, but actually the, the morph target isn't driving any of the animate uh, material stuff, right? So if I run it here, and I need to put on the uh, animation. You'll see that the morph target is working, but the animation is not being driven. So in this case, we have to go into our skill to mesh again. We will go to curves up here. We're going to add a curve. And now here's the, the important thing about naming. So it has to have the same name as the blend shape slash morph target and the same name as the parameter inside of the material that it's going to be driving. So we call both of those blend. And we're going to let it allow to drive morph targets and we're going to allow it to drive material. And we can save. So 
in this case now, it should drive both the morph target and the material. And you can see it works. So yeah, this is uh, this was my simple technique for extracting normal map information from the metahumans. It can really save you a lot of time in regards to animating wrinkle maps and stuff, and not having to sculpt them.